Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Kuno Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial I show you how to use the native picker for materials. Uh, that's uh, the basic for the native picker, but also how to use the um, script with some modifications to add a switch between different, in this, in this case, different 3D objects, but you can use this script also for any to switch between different face tracker or face meshes, switch between different uh, Sailor Moon characters, between uh, Sailor Mars and so on and so on, or uh, Marvel heroes or something like that, or color lots, um, so many solutions uh, just with one script and yeah, let's start and I hope you enjoy the process. Okay, let's start with the basic uh, UI picker. So you have uh, the basic structure later for the second part when you want to um, um, work with a different face tracker or for different uh, 3D objects. And in this case, I show you how to add the texture from the native picker into a plane. So start with the textures. And there, there's, that's very important. You need to select all these textures and go to manual compression, no compression and add this checkbox on and now you need a new plane did i say panel before i mean plane so you we put the textures we see in the picker later into the plane so the plane and make it a little bit bigger right and add a new material go Go into that and add the first texture. It's not important which one. So, yes. Now and now uh, we have the texture, one of the texture for the material. So later, um, the script knows how to put the textures in, and uh, this material is um, added to the plane too. So I make the take the visibility off and now for the next step is you need to add the capability that the um, script or in this project you can use the native UI control go to into the native UI control and the picker is on so, and you see uh, this little uh, window right here, uh, the capability that's not being used so uh, in this project, but we um, need to start with, uh, with a script right now. So you can ignore that script, go into that. And now to make it a little bit faster for you and I add the whole script that I prepared for into my script editor and then um, show you how it works in this um, uh, case and later I will uh, guide you through the script so you understand uh, how it works. I don't know. You can um, pause the video tutorial, the tutorial if you want to type the script or you find the uh, project down below so you have the basic script for your project. So copy that script, add it right here and now we test it. And this script is um, for this scenario. So my visibility check and now you see I can go through the different materials and how it works is whoops I show my face again hello you have to tell your script well what your reference is you add for your script um, the require to the native, uh, the scene and the texture. And you make sh you have to make sure that uh, the object you use is also in the script. So 
that it's that's an get method so the scene searching for the plane uh, zero in this case um, make sure it has uh, the name of the um, plane you want to use then you have to make uh, the pickers and the picker is the native UI and the native UI picker of course so that uh, it shows the picker down below and then you add uh, the index uh, in this case to zero so it starts right here this is will be uh, selected and this is uh, for our index so the com configuration select the index number maybe and these are the items for our index so uh, we have um, all these five items right here with with the re textures get to the item uh, uh, zero one two three and so on and so on how many you need it so and the picker configuration is this one so your picker has to be configured with the uh, with the configuration you can also uh, call it uh, index or something like that and by default the picker is not visible so you have to make sure that uh, this script is in your scene uh, as well so picker visibility true so um, you see really uh, the picker and this is uh, the last detail and you need your yeah, this um, function right here picker selected uh, index monitor subscribe function index i th i think uh, that's um, reference is this one and you make sure that the panel right here material diffuse uh, is configuration item the value you have picked as uh, so, uh, index new value and show you the image texture and this whole script or um, the basic of this script we need for our next project in the second part i show you how to use the picker for different um, in this case null object with um, different uh, 3d object in it for my design um, for the heart the stars and the diamonds and i'll check that and this right here and we have different textures for our picker and uh, this is a really simple solution if you wanna add for different um, plans, null objects, 3D objects, face uh, meshes, and so on and so on. For your whole design you want to create for different, you can add different three or four different face trackers or even more, I have no idea, um, just uh, and switch between them. So start with the script. And I want to add the show height console. So and make sure at first make sure that the uh, manual compression is che the check is uh, on so it's uh, clicked on and make sure that uh, the native pickers also in our approach in your project and now let's start with a new script and we use this script before as for a start and we add here object zero the different null objects start with that one and add the other two the first one and the second one uh, the <laughs> second one is the th and uh, the third one sorry and we just have uh, three different um, images for our picker so you need to delete 
these two. And now we start with the um, different, we can add here in this function a um, different function. So we start with an if index new value equal zero. And then the object zero hidden is false. Uh, that means that the first object, this null object, that is not hidden, so it is visible. And we add, if is, that is visible, we want that the other two are invisible. So the first, uh, the null object one is true, so it's hidden. And the third one is also true. But we need that if or this for the other two. So if, else if, else if, uh, the second, uh, the value, index value is uh, one. The first object is true and the second object is false because uh, this you will see uh, when you click on the star, you see the star and the hearts will disappear. Right now and now same for the third value. And false. And Sounds looks nice. And now you can switch between these objects. And this is a pretty easy solution if you want to switch between more complex designs. You make uh, between, how I uh, say, said before, different uh, face tracker or different face meshes and so on and so on when you make the whole Marvel um, uh, characters and one design and you just want to switch between Iron Man and I don't know um, Captain America and whatever. Thank you for watching I really appreciate that and give this tutorial a like if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who wants to see this Ding. and if you would want to see more tutorials subscribe to this channel and Hit the notification bell for the news update and we will see us next time. Enjoy the process. Bye bye.